Weights and Measures inspectors check the metering, et cetera, at all the gas stations at the pumps. And while they're there, they pick up samples of each of the products that the gas station sells. They bring those samples back to us. And we look for different uh, properties depending on what sort of fuel it is. For gasoline, we check to make sure that the octane is as posted. We look at uh, the sulfur level, vapor pressure, et cetera. For diesel fuels, we'll look at the flash point, the sulfur, the viscosity, the cetane, to make sure that they're within compliance as set forth by the ASTM standards that we follow and the refiners follow. I think that we uh, uh, maintain the quality throughout the state through our routine uh, inspections of all the gas stations. They know that, that we're coming. They don't know when we're coming. And uh, you know, in general, we have a uh, very positive relationship with the retailers in the state. A good businessman is going to want to uh, have it known that his, uh, in this case, fuel is up to specifications within compliance and that he's you know, providing the best product possible to the consumers and, and knowing that we come through and we're checking it. You know, oftentimes when we have uh, uh, samples fail, uh, it's not for anything done on the part of the retailer, it's just simply fuel has gone bad or they've gotten a, a bad shipment through a number of ways, it's as much a surprise to them as it is to us. And they are more than happy to work with us to become compliant again. If we have a sample that fails, the first thing we'll do is we'll go back and we'll resample it because we're not perfect either. And we would hate to have a retailer have to replace expensive fuel uh, without cause. So after we have had a sample and a resample both fail, we will issue a stop sale for that product, say diesel or one grade of gasoline, so the station can no longer sell that until they correct the problem. They need to get in contact with their supplier or somebody else to pull the contents of that tank out, clean the tank if necessary, and replace it with clean, incompliant fuel. At that time, they give us a call, we come out, we sample their new fuel, and uh, if all is well, then we open them back up for sale.